let's take a look at nanotechnology. Some think it's a new science, like physics or chemistry. However, it's more like a size interface that connects different engineering areas, and not just any size. We're talking small, really, really small. How small? Well, if you compare the nano world to an orange, it would be the same as comparing the same orange to Earth. That kind of small. Now, why do we bother with these small things when our world is so much larger? Well, it turns out that some big mysteries can be explained by looking at the details on the nanoscale. Take a surface, for instance. By manipulating its building blocks, we can give a huge variety of surface properties to the object. We can make it repel water, like the lotus flower. We minimize the adhesion of the surface to obtain the so-called lotus effect. By manipulating the surface in another way, we can copy the structure that the gecko lizard has under its toes, enabling the gecko to walk upside down. Nanotechnology has great advantages in many areas. For instance, in medicine, where it can be used to pinpoint the delivery of drugs inside the body. Impressive, isn't it? We're actually talking physics, chemistry, and biology at the same time. Only our imagination can limit where nano will take us. If you want to know more, or study more, why not join one of the programs? Here's a map of all the different universities and companies that work with nano in the Nano Connect Scandinavia network. There's a whole new world of small possibilities out there waiting for you.